Hi, and welcome back. I am continuing the 21 Pilots journey from the perspective of a psychotherapist. I'm very new to the 21 Pilots story, so please remember that. But I am a self-declared massive geek. So if there is law here, I'm in. I'm invested. So here we go. This is a Stressed Out. <laughs> What a cool beat. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard. I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words. I wish I found some chords in an order that is new. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang. I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure and I care what people think. My name's blurry face and I care what you think. Okay. My name's blurry face and I So is this the first introduction we have had to Blurry Face? I have a, a vague idea of, of this from people writing the comments. Um, but the line before I am Blurry Face was, but now I'm insecure and I care what people think. So Blurry Face seems to be a representation of that. That voice that puts you down, tells you that you're worthless and generally beats you up and judges you and tells you other people are going to judge you. And the first thing I think, and I want to get back to this track pretty quickly, so I'm not going to go too in depth about this, is the why. The what is the function of blurry face. And my initial thoughts from a psychological perspective is safety and preventing emotional pain, such as if you don't do the things that people might judge you for, so you don't put yourself in those vulnerable situations outside of your comfort zone, then you can't be hurt if that doesn't work out. You know, if you're socially anxious, then avoiding the party that you really want to go to reduces that social anxiety. Because you haven't gone, it's protective. Now that voice, no one will talk to you. You'll make a fool out of yourself. It's protective. But I think with this, with 21 Pilots, there might be more to it than that. And I'm so excited to find out where this, this whole thing goes. Oh man, All right, cool. So uh, the first thing that goes through my, my mind there as a, a 42 year old bloke is I wish someone, I wish I had someone to do that with. Is that really sad that I had a friend close enough that we had been able to kind of learn that together? Maybe I'll teach one of the kids. Maybe I'll teach my wife. I'm sure she'll be right up for that. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama. smell will take me back to when I was young how come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it try to sell so just just to stop it there quickly because something I'm fascinated by is what he just said there about how um, a smell can make you remember something that happened a long time ago and and quite frequently uh, in trauma therapy we are working with senses to activate memory networks to process things because in memory everything is encoded you know it's not just what you see through your eyes 
quite often when I'm working with people who have been in car accidents, it's the sound they remember more than anything else. So we process through that. And it's not just traumatic memories that work like this. You know, we can have pleasant memories associated with certain sounds and certain smells. It, it, even like songs, there's probably people who haven't heard this song for a while and, and now I'm playing it. It's bringing up memories of where you were when you first first heard it or any connections you have with this song that you might not have thought thought of for a while. It's a really powerful thing to play with. I'm never able to identify where it's coming from I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it Try to sell it, never sell out of it I'd probably only sell one Maybe to my brother Cause we have the same nose Same clothes, homegrown A stone's throw from a creek we used to roam But it would remind us of when nothing really mattered Out of student loans and treehouse homes We all would take the ladder My, my name's Blur Student loans or treehouse homes We would always take the latter I love that as a concept out of student loans and treehouse homes, we all would take the ladder. My, my name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying. So this makes me laugh here. The only reason I've got a smile on my face is it's there's that social experiment, isn't there? I think it was one of um, Milgram's. He liked his his kind of social uh, experiments. And there was one where they got someone to look at the top of a tall building or, or into the sky or something like that to see if other people would then look. But if I'm remembering this right, they didn't. But when they repeated this experiment with more and more people looking up, then the more people would come and join them and just look up, even though they didn't know what they were they were looking at. Maybe not really relevant here. It was just that clip of everyone um, kind of staring off into the distance in one side, just, just reminded me of that. There's a little free bit of, um, I don't know, psychology for you. Free tidbit. When the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. When the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. We used to play pretend, used to play pretend, bunny. We used to play pretend, wake up, you need the money. We used to play pretend, used to play pretend, bunny. We used to play pretend, wake up, you need the money. Play pretend, give each other different names. We would build a rocket ship and then we'd fly far away. Used to dream about a space, but now they're laughing out the face, saying, Wake up, you need to make money. Yeah. Is that it? Six seconds left. That's it. That's it. What was going on there at the end? Oh, man. There's so much to think about at the same time. The voice, the eyes, the red. Okay, so that's cool. That's really, really cool. Right. Uh, so much to talk about. It's all trying to burst out of me all at once. I need to collect my thoughts a little bit. There's stuff about responsibilities changing. There's a personal perspective here of how my life has changed as I have got older and the more stress that has come with that. There was the trauma memory stuff I briefly mentioned, you know, the connection with memory and smell. 
there's the caring about what other people think and this whole concept of blurry face. There's the wearing the red and black. There's there at times he, he took his red beanie off, you know, I noticed that. There's the seeing the families kind of at the end shouting, wake up, you need to make money. There's how all of this fits in with, with heavy, dirty soul that I reacted to last time. Hmm. I'm going to watch this through a couple more times and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts. In fact, I'm going to do something a bit different. The problem with 21 Pilots is that a lot of the uploads get globally blocked because of the copyright. Some artists say, yeah, you can show it, that's fine, but they take all the ad revenue, which is every artist that I, that I react to. So this channel makes nothing. I do this in my spare time. But some artists, you just get global blocks and you can't upload I didn't get it. That. Could you try again? Oh, my, my, uh, my Siri is talking to me. Let me turn off the Siri spy. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Um, where was I? What was I saying? Global copyright blocks. Yeah, sometimes it just gets blocked completely. You can't even upload it. So what I might do is leave this video as my initial reaction because I know some people like this part. They like watching someone watching something for the first time and then upload my thoughts as a separate video straight afterwards. So I'll upload them at the same time. You won't have to wait or anything. That way, let me think this through. If one gets blocked, I still have something to show you. And also that way you get to see my initial reaction at the time of seeing the song, if it stays up, and you get to hear my thoughts um, on the lyrics and my thoughts of the video, and I can go into it a little bit more deeper than perhaps I usually do, because I do think that there's a lot more that needs to be said than I sometimes get out in my reactions because of the whole idea of a reaction. So you get to see all of that, see my impressions, see my perspective with the slight inconvenience of having to click an additional link. But by doing that, it also supports the channel by watching a second video. Remember, not all heroes wear capes. And I know from my other videos, from the analytics that as soon as the track ends, no one stays around for my thoughts in a way. So if that's you, then maybe I'm doing you a favor. Let's try that. If that doesn't work, then we can come up with something else for next time. I'm pretty flexible with this stuff. Let's try to get something that gives you, the viewer, the best experience that you can have regarding what I know and my perspective on things. Because I do have, I do feel like I have a lot to share that might be helpful to people. So we'll do that. Check out my thoughts in the next video. Should be up already. Take care.